Let me tell you an old story. The town of Agua Fria rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him. Didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business. No one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw, loose and runner, came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of twenty-four, and the notches on his pistol numbered one and nineteen more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. I'm an Arizona ranger, won't be too long in town. I'm here to take an outlaw, back alive, maybe dead, doesn't matter. I'm after Texas Red. It wasn't long before this story was relayed to Texas Red, but the outlaw didn't worry. Men that tried before were dead. Twenty men had tried to take him. Twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. The morning passed so quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play, and the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas Red had not cleared the leather for a bullet fairly ripped, and the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip.